one thing we don't see in the set is a lot of marble. Marble is absolutely gorgeous, but you got to know how to take care of it. Suzanne Dim is here. <laughs> Luxury. Absolutely. I'm a huge fan of it. Well, yeah, it's all over your place. We've got pictures. I realize it's all over my house. Yes, <laughs> from your gorgeous space. Yes. Uh, and you've used it as backsplash. Um, you've used it in all different ways uh, in your space. And yes. It is gorgeous. What kind of marble is it? Okay, so this is statuario marble, uh -huh. which is kind of like a brighter version of Carrera. Carrera is probably the most common right. one that most people know of, that kind of gray one. Yes. So it's a little bit brighter. It's a little bit more expensive than the Carrera. Nice. I used it on the island, waterfall style, which means that it, you know, it goes down the side, which we love. And if you look at that photo, it's raised off the ground a little bit, oh. um, which I love because then you can clean around it really easily. You don't keep banging into that, into that waterfall. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing I did was I put it on the front of the island. Um, in a pattern tile. So this is actually marble. This okay. is what we actually saw on that island. And I like to mix it up. I like to have some different kinds of marble either on the floor or on the island and then a slab on the top of the counter just to give you some beautiful. variety. It's kind of like mix and match that way. Yes. Um, and it's really beautiful when it's bookmarked. It is gorgeous, but you really have to be aware of the kind of marble you have and 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 care. It's not for everyone. I yeah. need to say that um, it is work, but it's not hard work. You okay, can, you know, I love it. I think it's worth it because of the organic quality that gorgeous. you get from real marble. So the trick is that marble stains it um, can get etched. So we have a couple of samples here just to show you with the lemons. Yeah. I'm going to take my lemons off so you can sort of see the difference between this has been etched by lemons um, and it kind of actually pits the actual surface. I don't know if you can see it but then so it's been So lemons cleaned. can do this? These scratches? Yeah it's kind of like a deep scratch and like pits and marks in the marble. Yeah. Um, but you can't see them unless it's really really bad. Right. But you, and then on this one. Wine, As a designer this would drive you crazy. It would drive you crazy but I have a solution for you honey. Don't worry. Okay. Um, <laughs> Wine is the worst, so just like Kimberly over there, if you have guests over, yes. you got to get them off the red wine, give them the, <laughs> give them the white wine only. I have that rule. It's really embarrassing. But <laughs> do, do you really? Well, sometimes. There's I, certain things you got to do when you got the marble. True. And it can fade like this. I don't know if you can see how sometimes heat, yes. look, I just left a ring here too. Yeah. Um, heat can make it actually turn white, and water's really bad. Like, you know, you put a water oh, glass really? down, you get another ring. So there's these things you have to think about. Yeah. But you can, you can treat it. So there's companies like the Marble Clinic who gave us some of the products today. Mm -hmm. They'll come and they will actually either repolish or hone your surface. So I want to take you over here just so you can see. Okay. This is a polished surface right here. Yeah. And this is a honed surface. So the polished is shinier mm -hmm. and that's a certain kind of look and the honed is matte and soft. And it's sort of more of a modern contemporary look. I love the honed personally. Yeah. That's my thing. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's just that's my your thing. vibe. Yeah, it is my vibe. But the polished will show the etching worse than the hone. The hone will show the stains. So bear oh. that in mind when you're picking what kind of surface you want, like how you cook. Everyone uses lemons though. Yeah. So it's an issue, right? Um, but they will come and they will re-hone your surface or mm -hmm. re-polish it and make it look like new. And I recommend people doing that like every two years or three years. It's okay. not expensive. It's about $30 a linear foot and I seriously, it's worth the investment to do that to maintain it. Okay. The other thing is that marble, and I'll get, have a little piece here to show you, it chips. <laughs> Just sounds so fabulous, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like is there anything it stains doesn't chip, do? But it's just but you can also fill that in. So the okay. same company can come and fill those edges with a, like a little bit of an epoxy filler, yeah. and it, you will never notice it when it's when it's done. Okay. Um, they also have at-home kits so you can seal it yourself. Mm. They'll come. I recommend getting the professionals to come in and do the sealing for you when you first have it installed. But to maintain it, you can reseal it yourself. And what does that take? Is that a, just, is that a weekend project it's or is not, that? It's not even that long. It's, not even it's that really long. easy. But okay. the best thing I have to tell you is the poultice. So this okay. is a poultice. This one also is from Marble Clinic. Yeah. It looks like kind of a muddy goop on the inside. Yes. I don't know if you can see it. So if you get a bad stain on your marble, which I did once with makeup, so all the ladies in the house will probably have this problem. Yeah. Um, I got a really bad marbles uh, makeup stain on my white marble in my bathroom, which mm -hmm. we looked at. It was like a black mark on Aww. the marble. You put this on, you make a sort of goop of it, put it yeah. on, cover it in plastic saran, yep. and then tape it so that it's totally airtight. Mm -hmm. Leave it for 24 hours. It'll suck that stain right out of it. Really? And it looks like new. You might have to do it twice, yes. but it does, it does work. And if you don't, if you can't get this stuff, you can kind of make something 
similar with baking soda and water. Mm -hmm. um, just make a paste and put it on and it will get rid of those stains. You have to be patient. You have but to be it patient. Does work. Yeah. So and you have to be okay with it. Is there ever is there ever um, an argument to be made for just living with the patina? Absolutely. Uh, I, do you think I, are I there mean, people that are like, oh it's scratched, I'm okay with it? I'm one of those people. Honestly, you're okay with it. I have had the marble that you saw in that kitchen in there for probably 10 years. Really? I've had it. I have had it rehomed once. Yeah. Um, but there's a few, a few little things. But I don't care. I think that's part of the organic beauty of right. marble. It's not perfect. It's kind of I call them marble the jeans of the countertop world. Yeah. It's kind of like you want them worn in a little bit. You want yeah. them to have a little bit of fray. It life. It's got character, right? Yeah. So, but you do have to have, be prepared to just maintain it. It's management. For sure. Yeah. Having kids has changed my perspective on a lot of I'm that sure. stuff. I'm <laughs> sure. It's like whatever. I'm sure as it it's, does. It's, as it does. It's totally. It's been lived in. That's yeah. all it is.